Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Friday, so it is weigh-in day. We're gonna talk about my week, my weigh-in, and the Weight Watchers workshop topic, and the fact that I am halfway through my eight week cut. I'm going to give you updates and let you know my plans for the final four weeks. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a weigh in every Friday, and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching. Highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. That is what I follow to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. It's free. It's supportive. We'd love to have you. So let's talk about my week, my cut, my weigh-in, and the Weight Watchers workshop topic. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. I a pretty good week overall. We had a lot going on this week. It was a very busy week for me work related. It was a very busy week for us personal related. We had some highs. We had some lows. So let's talk about them. First, let's start with some of the highs for the week. Let's start on a positive note. I was able to get in all of my workouts this week. I killed it at boot camp. I killed it with my co-pilot workouts at the gym. This last week was my final week of my current co-pilot workout. My coach Kayleen changes my workouts about every four to six weeks, which we we should be doing. We should be changing them up. So I'm actually really excited to start a whole new workout routine next week. But I was in the gym. I was at boot camp, and I feel like I did really well with activity and moving my body this week. I also really focused on my water. I made sure that I got in my One Up Nutrition creatine every day. I made sure I was getting at least 80 ounces, if not a gallon of water every day. And I really focused on that because I finished up my cycle earlier in the week, and then I go into ov ovulation. And ovulation for me leads to a couple of things. Number one, I'm really hungry all the time. And number two, my weight spikes up. So I try to level that out the best that I can with flushing things out with water. So I really focused on that this week, stayed in my calorie deficit. Like I said, I am finishing up week four, actually really like four and a half, but I'm just going to call it week four of my eight week cut, which is really exciting. I'm halfway through. I'm feeling really good about my cut. I'm definitely, I definitely have days where I'm hungry because I am in a calorie deficit and I'm really excited to go back to maintenance where I can start eating more calories every day, going back into maintenance for another who knows how long before if I go back into another cut in the future. But I feel like overall it's going really well. I'm making sure that I'm eating a lot of high volume, low density foods. So things that I could eat a lot of for little calories. So fruits and vegetables, whole grains, utilizing my protein supplements to help get my protein in. And overall I'm feeling really good. I'm definitely noticing some changes in my body. And like I said, at the end of my cut, I will share with you final results as far as weigh in, in pictures, the whole thing, but I'm feeling really good overall, but I'm definitely, definitely, definitely going to be excited when the eight weeks are over. And like I said, we had a couple of lows this week. I don't really want to say lows, but we had a couple challenges. As you know, Lola has been in chemo. She had her chemo treatment on Tuesday. Well, on Tuesday, Palmer woke up with one of his eyes really swollen and red and half open and just caked with gunk. And so, of course, I doctor Googled it because I wanted to know kind of what it possibly could be. And I found that it could be a multitude of things. It could be pink eye, it could be an eye infection, it could be allergies. So we ended up giving him a Benadryl, which didn't touch the pinkness and redness in his eye. So I actually made an appointment for Palmer on Tuesday after Lola's chemo to go into the vet to see if we could figure out what was going on with his eye. He wasn't acting like his normal self. He was lying around, he wasn't playing, he wasn't interested in anything, which if you know Palmer, he's crazy. So he's always running around, he always wants to play. So this was very, very abnormal for him. So I took Lola to chemo, came home, and Troy took Palmer to the vet. And what they determined is that he actually has a scratch on his pupil. So we think that maybe he ran into some type of bush or tree in our yard when he was playing ball or somehow got a scratch on his pupil. Like I said, he's crazy. He's crazy. He has ran into our fire pit before. He's lost a tooth in the front from that. He runs into things 
things. He gets real excited outside. So we're not, we don't know where the scratch came from, but what they ended up doing is giving him some eye drops and some pain medication. And within a couple days, he started feeling a little bit better. We take him in next Friday for a follow-up, but he's definitely doing better. He's back to his normal self. He's playing. His eye is still red and bloodshot, but he's feeling back to normal. So that was a relief. So Tuesday was pretty stressful between having taking Lola to chemo, having to take Palmer to the vet and then managing both dogs. I was grateful that it wasn't pink eye because that is extremely, extremely contagious. And that's the last thing Lola needs is to get pink eye and have to go through chemo. Not that I want Palmer to have a scratch on his pupil, but overall it's better that it was that than some type of contagious pink eye or infection. And poor Lola has been having another bout of of pretty severe diarrhea since her chemo treatment. I actually was woken up on Thursday morning. Am I? If you don't want to hear about poop, skip over this section. But I was woken up about one in the morning with a lot of poop on the bed. So poor Lola, she, it just kind of comes out when she has her chemo treatments. And we didn't know that she had this issue prior to the middle of the night on Thursday. So since then I have been giving her her medication and it seems to be getting a little bit better. I don't want her to be uncomfortable. I don't want her to have digestive distress. I don't want to clean up diarrhea all the time. But more importantly than that, the excess diarrhea can cause her white blood cells to be too low, which is exactly what happened a few weeks ago and then she's not able to get her treatment. So we are trying to head that off by giving her the medication and just really watching her and making sure that she doesn't have these constant bouts of diarrhea. So poor Lola. It's been a week. Like I said, there's been highs, there's been lows. It's definitely been a week. Tomorrow, Troy and I are finishing up our spring cleaning. So we're going to be washing the inside and outside of our windows. We're gonna clean all the molding in our house. It's gonna be another super active day. We ordered pizza this week. That was a high. So overall, it was a really good week. It was just a little stressful. And we had a couple moments of lows during the week. But overall, I'm grateful for every day with Lola. I'm grateful that we're healthy and happy. Oh, one other thing we did this week is we met with a financial planner. One of my goals this year was for us to invest some money and set us up for some long-term success when it comes to retirement and having money down the road. I also have a call in to a CPA to discuss doing some tax deductions for myself, putting money in an IRA or some type of self-employment retirement fund so I have to pay less taxes. So I'm, do so I'm excited that we're moving in the direction of our financial planning goal. So that was another win this week. So I would say overall, we had definitely more wins than we had struggles. But before I jump into my weigh-in for the week, let's talk about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. And that is the secret to making activity more interesting. Now, you know I always say that you don't have to exercise to lose weight, but you should move your body. You should do exercise for your health, for your cardiovascular health, to help tone up your body as you lose weight. But you have to find something that you enjoy and something that you will stick with long-term. Because an exercise routine, you have to do it for quite a while before you start seeing results whether that's cardio, strength training, or both. And it's always good to change it up. Like I said, we change up my strength training workouts every four to six weeks. It's really good to find new activities, to try new things, to see if you can find something that you really enjoy. Maybe you've never taken a hike and maybe you take a hike and you love it. Or maybe you go to a HIIT training class and you end up loving it or you find a boot camp group. It's important to try new exercises and of course change it up throughout your weight loss journey to keep it interesting and to keep you motivated. So some tips and things that you can do to keep it exciting is number one, you can scout out a new spot. Choose a place you haven't been to before or paid much attention to in the past. Unplug fully. Silence or turn off your phone so you can tune into your surroundings undisturbed. Move mindfully. Notice your breathing, how you connect with the ground and the sights and sounds. And lastly, find inspiration. What around you feels energizing or intriguing? What color, shape, spaces, scents, or other details are you drawn to. If you're bored of your current exercise routine or you don't have an exercise routine, it's the perfect time to find something new. Maybe you find out you really love walking or riding your bike or jogging. What I do when I walk, I will tell you, I don't listen to anything. I don't listen to music, YouTube, a podcast. I just listen to my surroundings. I enjoy the beautiful scenery around me. Also, when I'm hiking by myself, same thing. I'm just really in awe of my surroundings and focusing on that. And like I said, finding something that you enjoy that you'll actually stick with is truly the key to consistent 
movement. I love my boot camp workouts. I love my strength training in the gym with Copilot. I love my walks. Those are things I really enjoy. I love a periodic 5K or a 10K. I love taking hikes and seeing new things. Those are things that get me excited to move my body. So if you're in a rut or you haven't started an exercise routine, find something new and exciting. Try it out. See if it entices you to do it long term. Find more joy in your journey. It makes it a lot more enjoyable. Now let's jump into my weigh-in for the week. Like I said, I finished up my cycle this week, went directly into ovulation, and my weight always goes up during ovulation, and that's exactly what happened. Now it typically will level out, but my weight was up most of the week, which does not affect me at all because I'm very in tune with my body. I do track my cycle, so I know exactly when I'm going into ovulation, and when I see those weight fluctuations, I can go, okay, that's all it is, is because of ovulation. Learning your body and being in tune with that is really, really important so you don't freak out when you have a random weight gain or weight fluctuation. But, but when I stepped on the scale today, I'm actually down 0.2 pounds. Last week I maintained my weight, so this week I'm down just a little bit. I'll take it. It's a huge win. We're moving in the right direction. I consider maintenance or any loss fantastic, especially in a cut, especially with not a lot of fat to lose. I'm feeling really good about that, especially in ovulation. I mean, it's really truly another big win to add to my week. So point two, I'll go ahead and pop up here on the screen how much I've lost total as well as my current weight. And now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what exercise do you do that you enjoy and what exercise do you want to try to see if it becomes a favorite. And of course, let me know how was your week? How was your weigh in? Let me know everything in the comments. And if if you enjoyed another way in video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Turn your bell on because I upload a new way in every Friday in five videos every single week. Check out that description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you for watching, friends. Happy, happy weekend, and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.